Hi everyone, David Mailey here from Tech Know How, and I'm going to show you how to quickly copy and paste your data into Excel without rounding or to avoid rounding. And this is important when you have larger numbers like credit card numbers, account numbers, bank numbers, IDs, things like that. So on my right, I have some data of varying lengths. So these are all made up customer IDs, doesn't matter what they are. It shows you digits out to 18 uh, and 20 places. Um, and then shorter ones. So when I copy this, if I copy this natively into Excel, just as is, we hit copy here, and I just paste it in. What happens is at first I see that they're all, almost all inside the notation except for one. That's because it's a short column. Just widen it out, way out. And no matter how wide I make it here, you're going to see that a bunch of them are going to stay in scientific notation. We don't want that. But then there's even a worse thing. So some of them, if I click on them, are actually rounding. This should have a six, not a zero there. And this and this are both rounded. So are these two. And they're rounding out to numerous places. So that's bad. That could uh, make it so it's an invalid card or an invalid account or even make it somebody else's entirely different account, which you don't want to have. So instead, what we want to do is let's remove this. I'm just going to remove this row. So we got a fresh row. And the reason why it does that natively is if I look at the format by default it's general which is the same thing it sees it as number and that's why it's rounding so what we want to do is you want to take this and instead we want to hit it to text so I want to take that row make it text and then what I want to do is pull up that data again let's copy that again and let's just paste that here there we go now that we since we made row a to be text see what happens I've got all the data and none of it is rounded now if I click on any of these it'll give me a little warning saying I can go and make it Convert it to number. The moment I do that, it will round it. It will lose those 12 at the end, and it's going to round it to four places on that one. So if I convert that to number, look what happened. It rounded it. So I don't want to do that. So I go back, and it's back here. They're all text, and I've got my numbers there. That's how you get around the automatic default rounding in Excel, especially with large data like this. Thanks again for watching. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share, and have a great day. Thanks. Bye.